Good evening, good evening, good evening. Good evening, how are you? I was alright till you came on with that bloody shirt. Wow. What? What's wrong with it? This is my Father's Day present from the children. Do you want me to show you closer? Look at that. It's got please, flamingos please on it. It's got flamingos please, 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 on it. Good evening, oh, ladies and gentlemen, all over the world. Fantastic to have you on. Yes. Just for that design. I, I'm in kind of Hawaii mood today because it's so hot up here in Shetland. This is a rare occurrence. So it's we've, had it, nice. we've had it for like three weeks. I know. <laughs> we, we're sick yeah, of it. Yeah. We haven't had it for the three weeks, I'm afraid it's just been. But we had it very hot the other day. <clears throat> Previous guest, Callum McCall. Remember Callum, the weatherman? Yes. Accordion Call, Maestro. Callum texted me to say that you nearly broke the, the record. See, there's, there's ne Katie. Nearly. Nearly. We nearly did. Um, there's Katie the Wheel Piper joining us. We've got something you're going to speak about that in a wee minute, actually, probably. We are, yes. You like your shirt? We are, we are. Cam's, Cam's just looking in my shed door saying, does Davey like your shirt? I, I just heard a, heard a voice and start to panic. <laughs> So, where's she going from? Because I can send you one, Davy. Mm. Um, <laughs> no. Okay, I'll go and get one ordered up for you. Large, please. There's Davy Borthwick down in the borders, and Joe Nicholson, Nicholson is in Aberdeen tonight. He's not in Orkney. And there's Stevie Hughes. Yeah, there's no he's telling where he is. He's man. in his motorbike all over the west coast of Scotland half the time. Maureen's in Cornwall. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, keep the comments yeah. coming in. Let us know where you are. We have got a wonderful, wonderful guest tonight for you. We've got <coughs> up and singer Megan Henderson on. Yes. Megan's uh, a wonderful musician. Uh, been at it for quite a while now, to be honest. And uh, he's playing family. a major musical family. Yeah, which we'll speak about as we go through. So it's been uh, it's great to get her on at last. I'm really chuffed. Are we good? So uh, that's that. And a big thank you to Vi Todd. don't know if Vi's joined us yet, but Vi put a collection tin out at her Kaylee today for the wee charity we're running for Grace uh, for the Archie Foundation. And she told me she got 53 quid today. So that was brilliant. Thank you very much, Vi. That's fantastic. I think we're now about 2,400 2, or something. And about that, yeah. A, a lot of gift aid stuff in there as well, which is good. So it's fantastic. What have you been up to? Getting sunburnt. Yeah, you're almost looking, no, you're not looking that pale blue colour anymore. You're nearly looking white. Ron Seal. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was, we were um, out yesterday at um, the ben Benarte Pipe Band Competition at Lochore Meadows in the, the south of Fife. Ah, uh, well, my yeah. Fife. Um, yeah, so nice day there, kind of the weather held, the sun decided to come out as we played, so that's good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, well, Vi saying that my pleasure. That always helps sharpen up the chanters, just the thing. Well, we were, okay, we were okay actually. Um, no, that's good, well done. And we were lucky enough to have, um, what's it, Ewan, um, one of our drummers, Dad's was there, and he right. filmed the film performance. So we have Magic. the um, MSR from yesterday, where the band came fourth in our grade. Mm -hmm. So just outside the prize list, but um, a good step forward for this coming Saturday, where we yep. are competing at the European Championships in Aberdeen. And you had your new member competing we did. yesterday in grade three for we the first we had Katie playing in in, um, in the back of the Great Three Band, and as as far as I'm led to believe, and I said this to Katie yesterday, as far as I'm led to believe, she is the first ever piper to play into the circle in a wheelchair at a pipe band competition. Awesome! Because every other time of every every other time we've seen it, they <laughs> have started in the circle and the bands oh. formed around them. And that must be really actually quite difficult because if you have to start as the bands away miles back, yeah. So but getting... apparently, apparently, I was speaking to the director of the branch yesterday. 
the adjudicators completely disregard anything happening in the circle until the band gets there. Ah, right, okay. So there's no kind of negativity against it of like if, if they, they make a mistake or they're out of time or whatever. They don't they kinda of disregard it until the band gets there. Right. But anyway, she didn't she's gone in in the wheelchair. Was that who was that that took her in? Was that her mother? That's mum. That's mum. Yeah. Yep. I, I, I yes. saw it in the distance the video and uh, and mum even looked like she was on step, actually. Yes, that time she was. <laughs> 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 things mothers have to do so this is an incredible achievement for Katie, well done Katie you've got into the bike band and Mackenzie Caledon, I know you're working with the youth bike band as well but that's a great achievement and Davey, and unless we're proved wrong, Davey thinks you're the first person to go into a circle with a whole band yep. competing in the wheelchair, well done brilliant, here's Mackenzie with a March to Spain Real March to Spain Real, yep um, what we got? Willie, Willie Ross is farewell to Glasgow Police, um, Donny Ferry, and Major David Manson. Brilliant. Enjoy, folks. <laughs>
What am I, what yeah, am I applauding bro. for? What am I applauding what? for? I'm, I'm glad. Yeah, you were in it. You were in it. <laughs> yes. Well, uh, absolutely fantastic. Stevie Goose, a wee bit of shame about the voices in the background. Yeah, sounded like a a number ten party going on in the background there. Hey, folk are entitled to enjoy themselves at these things. That's what's happening. Yeah, that's what's happening. But no, that that was brilliant. Great experience. Magic to get under the belt. So she'll be hoping to compete as much as she can. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Great. Right. Who are we bringing on tonight? We are bringing um the fantastic Hiroka, fantastic Gaelic singer, mm-hmm. an all round fantastic person, mm-hmm. Megan Henderson. Excellent. Oh, it's good to be fantastic to bring her on, but I think what we'll do is we'll play a track, will we? Yes. And we're then... gonna play more more bagpipes. Yay! <laughs> Maybe he's in his element tonight because it's bagpipes. Even though I play the bagpipes myself, so, yeah, yeah. I get labelled more the accordion one than the bagpipe one. That's the only, not the only thing to label you. Anyway. <laughs> I have actually just sent our guest tonight, and Megan, I sent her a message in a wee video saying, uh, here's the whales we were talking about earlier on. Please excuse uh, my accordion playing because it's in the middle of it all. But the whales are nice. Yeah. So we have uh, a video of the band Brayback which Megan plays with, but from Celt Colours back in 2019. So here's a quick video. Cool.
Put his wrong button. No! Sorry, folks. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I pushed the wrong you button. The wrong button. <laughs> I pushed the wrong button. I was supposed to go down a page. That's fine. But yeah, you can see more of that on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> good advert. That was a yeah. very good advert. There. Yeah. That's keep them in suspense there. If they want to see the rest of the go on YouTube. Yeah, or pay us five million pounds. You've never actually done that before, do you? You've never pressed the wrong button. I know. Like Two and a half years and I make a mess of it. Great fun. I did I did switch the whole show off one night, remember that? You did? Yes. That I yes, and now you and that now you sit back. and now you sit back on the keyboard. I do, I don't touch the <laughs> keyboard and hold the dog on purpose. Yes, it's, it's not a prop. No. So on the back of that, let's fantastic. So many folk joining us, so there's loads of folk yes. joining us. Please keep sharing, folks. Hit the share buttons and let us know where you are in the world. It'd be fantastic. And let's bring on the fantastic Megan Henderson. Yay! Hi, Megan. How are you doing? <laughs> Evening, guys. It's I'm life. very well, it's very life. well, thanks. I promise oh, we, won't, we, we won't let them do that again. <laughs> no, it's quite all right. I, I was I was actually really enjoying watching that. I was like, oh, I remember that. It was so lovely. I uh, I just literally found out um, before we went on that trip to Kilt the Colours that I was pregnant with Joey, who's now three years old. Um, wow. So I remember doing that gig and feeling very sick. <laughs> ah, so there you good. go. <laughs> you look fantastic. <laughs> thank you. Yep, thank yeah, you. That, 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 oh, that would be embarrassing, wouldn't it? Just into us, the middle of the song and oh, would be Just great. Telling yeah, everyone. Oh, by the yeah. <laughs> no, hold on, hold it together. I think, I think I may have to throw up here. Just move, those two, move those two sets around. I'll just step out of this one. Give me two seconds. But I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm led to believe that the Dubliners in their heyday used to manage that as part of the act nearly. <laughs> <laughs> I can quite imagine. But anyway. Were you pregnant too? No, I don't think they were only pregnant. They didn't have that excuse. <laughs> they didn't have that excuse. Yeah, no. And I was fortunate enough to meet Joy, uh, was it three weeks ago? Three, four weeks ago now we were at Orkney. And I met her through the back. That's right. Joy together she's fantastic she chatters away and oh it's great it's uh -huh. fantastic you, you were the that. perfect babysitter but that, it's great when it's, it's uh, <laughs> you know when they're at age and they're behaving themselves you kind of beat it you know uh -huh. yeah. when they're behaving themselves uh -huh. yeah exactly you know there's no <laughs> baby's got that to come yet he's just got a one-year-old now she's oh, okay. 17 yeah. months actually yeah 17 months I'm nice. 17 months Very now nice. yeah so, Anyway, fantastic. Super ready to come on tonight. Always... No, it's been brilliant. brilliant. My pleasure. So, Megan, pleasure to be on. We, we kind of touched on it earlier on. You, you come from a musical family. Do you want to just tell us a bit about how you kind of started off with, with music in general? Um, so, I suppose uh, being brought up in quite a large family for a start and uh, seeing my elder siblings. Um, playing music and stuff, I suppose. And uh, I I really enjoyed it and uh, would kind of, you know, put off tunes and stuff. And then eventually uh, in my late teens, I decided that um, I'll head off to uni and uh, um, give it a shot. So I went on to the, well, what was the RSMD at the time? I went and studied classical music and um, then- Megan's, Megan's yeah. just given her age away. She's just given her age away there. She's not one of the conservatory kids. No, nope. I, I I've got the I, I've got the AMD baton or whatever it was yeah. <laughs> filed away somewhere. So that's it. Yep, not twenty one anymore, sadly. So we have we have found that a lot of the traditional musicians kind of coming through and in on the scene did study classical at, at the AMD or the conservatory um, mm -hmm. at the time. Do you feel that's a, a major grounding for a lot of musicians? Is the if they're brought up in a traditional setting that the classical helps kind of improve everything? I think I think any music uh, kind of alongside another genre will help. Um, I, I I don't 
I wouldn't necessarily say it would be the classical. I, I suppose what helped me with the classical music training, uh, with both violin and piano, it was more your kind of your stance and how you hold yourself, or how, like mm -hmm. how you really kind of get to know your instrument a lot. I suppose by playing scales and things like that, and uh, posture and things that have really helped me though for way into my career now. You know. And, mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah. And it, it's hard, it's hard as a kid and you're kind of, you know, 14 there to be practicing. And, but I, I, like I say, I think that would be with any genre of music. And I think any music um, would be, would be helpful alongside, um, like I say, with folk music. But it just so happened to be that that was who was kind of teaching music in the area in Le Havre mm. when I was growing up. Uh, and yeah, really fortunate to, to have been brought up with, um, sure. When you, when, you brought up, yeah. when you say Lochaber, were you brought up in Fort William then? I was brought up in Fort William, yeah, yep. I, I, I lived but, uh, in Malig for family? just a few years. but. In Malig, yeah, you were in Malig. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, Aye, I, I, yeah. They, they moved to Fort William when I, when I was very, very young. and Because uh, I yeah, remember, but, oh gosh, 35 years ago or something like that, going up to play a gig uh, at Noida with uh, uh -huh. Black Eyed Biddy. Black Eyed Biddy, it was a folk group that was on the go at the time. And okay. we went up and we got a prawn boat or something like that, took us to Noida from Malig, and we got a real soaking in the way back. And I think, did your folks have a hotel in Malig at one point as well? Or? They did, yeah, yeah. They used to yeah. run the Marine Hotel. And then and I they, think we they ended up the... in a hotel and I think we ended up in a hotel and begged for showers because we were so cold after <laughs> That's that's why the name Henderson and Mali always stuck in my head all the time. This musical family. So so you were yeah. a couple of years in Mali and then moved to Fort William. Then. Yep, yep. Yeah. Mum and Dad they moved us all to the the, the metropolis of Fort William. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> the bright lights. Yeah. That's it. That was it. Joined, joined up shops. Yeah. Yeah. So from from that you you obviously went through primary school and high school and then off to the conservatoire. Um, mm -hmm. What kind of, what happened for you after the after the conservatoire? Did, was it was it trad or was it classical playing you went into? Um, well, what happened was that I was uh, I think it was twenty ten. Uh, I started doing a bit of work with a fantastic um, folk fusion band, Sals Keltka. Uh, I got asked mm -hmm. to. Um, do some gigs with them. So I started touring with them just towards the end of my uni career and uh, my time at uni even. And then when I was 2011, I was going on to do a postgrad in uh, music therapy, but got asked to join Brebach. So I thought, mm -hmm. oh, do you know what, I'll give this a go for a year. But uh, 12 years later, I'm, I'm still giving it a go. Still, yeah. <laughs> yeah, bro, bro. yeah, so that was that. Yeah. And you're a, you're a native Gaelic speaker as well, is that correct? Um, no, but I've always, uh, there's there's been Gaelic kind of since I was very young growing up. Um, we were lucky in the Haber with them, uh, Facial Haber. We used to put on a lot of kind of weekends or um, kind of wee classes and stuff for youngsters and you learn games and music through the medium of Gaelic. Uh, sadly, when I went to school, there was no Gaelic medium unit uh, in right. Fort William. But uh, no, a lot of my older siblings, they went, went on to... Uh, study Gaelic when some are Austic and certain things, but I did a lot of Gaelic singing uh, in Fort William with a fantastic lady, Christy McEachin, so kind of learnt the language through, uh, mainly through song. And right. then as I've got older, I kind of studied it in school a bit and then have kind of in my own time, I'll dip in and out. And uh, I try and use it. I'm, I'm not by any means a fluent speaker, but uh, I think it's, yeah, it's a lovely language and very oh, grateful yeah. to have such a fantastic resource of it these days. And there, there is, mm -hmm. it's really, I, I would like to think that it's thriving at the moment uh, yes. well, in the community that I'm, that I'm living now. There's um, a fantastic Gallup school here and many across the country, which is fantastic. So mm -hmm. it's, uh, yeah, yeah. That leads us on to our next video, which is from your the Brebach's latest album, yeah. and this one is Idar. Idar and Davrai, yep. Which, and that, that means uh, 
<laughs> it translates as which means don't touch any buttons before the end of the video. That's what it means. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it means between the two braids, and uh, it was a song that was written by uh, my brother Ewan Henderson. Um, he wrote it after the Craig Meggie Nature Reserve, which sits right between Lochaber and Badenoch and Strasby. Okay. There must be some wealth of music between you guys as a family. There must be some uh, amount of competitions, etc. <laughs> often have we a competitions, we'll get them fine. <laughs> no, no, not competitions, I mean, uh, compositions, I meant. But the, oh, you, compositions. You know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, know, yeah, you're right, the, you're right. The Henderson Collection, we could have a Henderson Collection. I know, geez, that would mean us all having to talk to each other, though. So, <laughs> <laughs> that's, I'm, that's joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Have a big party and sit around the table. <laughs> that sounds good. Let's that sounds a, good. <laughs> let's have a listen to this one.
Fantastic. Fantastic. Well, well. <laughs> and that's how on earth managed to shoot a video like that? Was there any midges? <laughs> I but it, so we went out. Uh, we we took a walk up into the corridor there, as you can see, uh, Craig, Maggie, and. Uh, there, there's a there's an outtake version on YouTube actually um, of us like the realities of making a music video in on the one day of summer last year in the Highlands of Scotland. Not a breath of wind. We're getting absolutely annihilated by the midges. Yeah, yeah. not great. <laughs> no, when you're a beautiful that video, part of the world. Right. Enjoying that video by, by Cal McCrimmon, James Lindsay, Ewan Robertson, and Cora McDonough, who took over Sorry. from James Duncan McKenzie a few years ago. That's right. Yep. Yep, 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 in March 2020. Who, who, we, who we saw in the... So, oh, so COVID was his fault. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, who we saw in the first video. But no, it's, it's, Rayback's always been a band that has kind of pushed the boundaries of what they're doing. The whole double pipe and fiddle and then flute and whistle and then just kind of building on that as well as um, step dancing at one point as well, isn't there? Mm -hmm. yeah yep. so that's from yourself is it not yeah yep I, yeah. I do some step dancing Callum's been known to do it as well uh, from time to time over the years Gee, yeah, what is... he's yeah. learnt from the best <laughs> aye that's we, it <laughs> we were trying to learn down at Orkney Festival there with the who was it was doing it um, it was the Welsh guys uh, Vree I don't know if you've come across oh, them yeah. Vree yeah, and they were doing them. a lot of the they, they were doing a lot of stepping, and mm -hmm. our fiddler Andy Kane thought this was wonderful. But oh man, see when he started trying to do that on stage, it was just this like, like rumble of nonsense. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah the, and the drummer, the drummer, the, drum, the drummer hated them instantly. And <laughs> no, nah, it, it didn't work for, for us. But maybe no. we should get them jumping out the front doing some step dancing. That would be good. <laughs> as as long as he's not playing the fiddle, it'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Oh, yeah. wow. we're good. So yeah. you, with with Brayback, you've kind of toured the world. You've done. You've been to, been to was it Australia last last year, or was it twenty nineteen to Australia? No. Yeah, we haven't been to Australia since. In fact, January twenty twenty was the last time we were out there. Um, uh -huh. um, that was our last bit, big bit of travel. But we're out, we we just um, started touring in the States. So we did a tour of America mm -hmm. uh, for the first time in February there. And we had a great time and uh, we're due to be back out there next year uh, in April. We're just kind of collating all the dates and stuff at the moment. And then we'll put them up on the Brave website. So looking forward to getting back out there. How do you find the audiences when you go to places like, say, Australia and America? Are they quite knowledgeable or are they, like, when it comes to, say, Gaelic or things like that? Yeah, it, it's so varied, but, uh, yeah, so varied, but they're they're lovely and welcoming uh, on the most mm -hmm. part. We've, um, we really love our travels. We've been so lucky with it and uh, it's so nice to see um, that across the world. You know, there's, there's always more mm -hmm. that... Um, we've always got more in common than, than what we think, you yeah. know, and, uh, and so you it's on? lovely. When you, went to, when you went to America, I think I saw on line, did, did Joey go too? She did, yes, our yeah. three-year-old, well, she was two, two and a bit at that time she was with us, so yeah, she's getting to see wow. the world and, yeah. Fantastic, because it's something people yeah. don't think about uh, at home when we're all touring about, it's not always easy just to get away, especially if you've got children or or different commitments, etc., no. etc. Et so That's how, it, how yeah, do you yeah. do that? Do you take somebody else to go and look after her while you're playing her? We, you can, I think yeah, you don't do. run it one off on stage and one is half an hour and the other is half an hour. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we've been very fortunate with the the support that, that, that we've had over the years from either family members uh, or we also take uh, a lovely girl, uh, Amy Juice is her name. She's a niece of uh, Siobhan Miller. Um, okay. She comes with us and uh, yeah, she's fantastic. And oh, yeah, so she had and Joey have, have a good time. And yeah, it's it's a lot of juggling. Uh, yeah, I can't lie, it's not always easy, but uh, on the most part, it's fine. But all of a sudden, uh, what I found over this last three years is when I'm playing music, I appreciate it even more now. My downtime is now on stage, 
Um, which is like it's a a funny kind of mindset to get into but it's you know uh, which is a great thing because um, it just makes me realize how much i enjoy it yeah when i go out and play at weekends and things and i'm heading out to play and that and people say oh how can you head out and all that but i I actually enjoy that that's my wee bit of time away playing and that's it yeah it's quite nice yeah. and, uh, but always remember now because joey and i got on really well uh so if you need somebody to come to america or australia just give me a shout and i'll absolutely and i'll i'll, I'll yep. bring a few nice shirts so they fit in with the climate and things she'll love that she'll love that <laughs> to be honest we, we uh, i i i got the memo for the shirts as well ah, yeah, <laughs> I think, davy davy you're you're the odd one out here i know yeah. the only <laughs> Only one I have similar to Peter's is a Christmas one now, but a bit too, uh, a bit too, a bit too warm for that one at the moment. <laughs> okay. Right. But you're off to uh, Belgium at the end of July, um, I believe. That's and right, yep. Germany in August. Through, yeah, you know, but it, in Scandinavia. In yes, that's right. Sorry. Yeah, no, we're in Scandinavia Sorry. at the start of July and then, yeah, a few kind of european festivals and uh, down in england uh, quite a bit as well and wow. yeah so you're working so with, you find... you work with Brea back quite a bit then that is quite a bit of your playing time Brea back yeah yeah that that's uh, our how would you put it, your uh, our main bread and butter i suppose right. um right. and uh, yeah it's fantastic but we but we also get have a time where we can all do our own a individual work or playing with other artists um which i i love doing i love doing that as well mm. um so yeah it's good yeah. a good balance where are, you, where are you heading in scandinavia are you heading to so we st- if you go to <laughs> brevach.com ah. <laughs> you know, uh, i'm forgetting off the top of my head but i know we're going to finland uh, for a festival oh, yeah. and to Norway and I want to say Sweden. Uh, cool. I've just forgotten at the moment. Uh, well, you can check something out for me in Finland. I'm led to believe that the national dance of Finland is a tango. Oh, there you I go. How, I'll find out. I don't know. I'll let you I know. I don't know why and I don't know how, but somebody said, "Yep," yeah, because it's the you just don't expect that. You you do realize people, absolutely you not a text and a text in the middle of the night. And it'll be Megan going, yeah, you're right, or no, you're not. <laughs> That's, That's it. Three in the morning. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll let you know. Yeah. Yeah. Do you do you find that the um, the gigs are coming back in for the festivals? They're kind of all back to full pelt after the whole kind of nonsense that was COVID. Yeah, no, definitely. I think people are finding their confidence again, and uh, which is lovely. And people are, you know, making the effort to come out and uh, support and live music again. I like, and I can fully appreciate people that are, and you know, there's, um, yeah. it, it was difficult, and everyone's still navigating coming out of this time. But uh, there was a fantastic festival on uh, last weekend in Glasgow, the Reeling. It was a mm. new uh, festival, a kind of sister one of Sky Live, and it was just fantastic uh, to see people supporting such a new festival. Um, yeah. And yeah, it was lovely. But it, yeah, I did. I, I think in the most part, I, it's. Uh, I have yeah, a wee theory. I think city people are coming out much more quickly than rural areas. I just find that yeah, where I'm going. Perhaps. You go to a big city, and you're getting crowds. But in rural areas, they're just that wee bit kind of reserved about it, yeah, kind of thing, like sometimes. Yeah, yeah, maybe. I think um, getting music back into the rural areas has been a really important thing. And we, we yeah. actually did a, with Brebach, we did a tour um, last year, I think it was the back end of the year, down Arden American Peninsula and um, like of Colchowen, Glenuig, and where else are we? Lohan, and and uh, it, was, it was really nice to go there and yeah. but kind of you know you have to get in there to the communities and uh, it was nice to see a lot of kind of familiar faces coming out mm-hmm. and um yeah there was, it, it was interesting was we've had a local sailing regatta on this week in mid yell in shetland and um i was sitting playing this afternoon in the, the big tent down there with barbecues going and all that kind of stuff and there was this lady grace ann sitting across uh, with her dog and then i finished my second set or something she said Excuse me, my dog really does not like your accordion playing. 
Oh, no. <laughs> Oh dear. Well, you know, dear. Where, you know where the dog can go. So, but uh, poor dog. It's just as it started nearly chewing my knee off when you started playing the accordion. To which my wife replied, "Oh, our little boy Angus is like that. He hates it as well, which he does." So, but never mind. Oh, Nobody's dear. on my side. Oh. Nobody's on my side. No. <laughs> no. Uh, we're going to have another another um, video, and this is from. I think is it the Edinburgh International Festival in 2020, um, Birds of Passage. Yeah, yeah, that that was our our first uh, bit of footage that we got to do, um, kind of during uh, COVID times. That's the first time we got to play together since uh, right at the beginning of March, and that was filmed start of July, I think it was. Right. So um, yeah, that was yeah. Again, it's quite a special piece of music to get to have. A footage and also it was one of our first performances with Connell so yeah yeah this is it so th this was you all hoping that you'd learnt the stuff <laughs> <laughs> no this is us all hoping that we remembered it <laughs> remember, yeah. <laughs> yeah. here we go birds of passage Joy and woe from Highland shores to Scattery, their humble search for sanctuary, a timeless symphony, no border lines they see. of grace swift birds of passage gather peace as they rise as they delight bright birds of passage wing their flight come the wild wind and Mountain blast the desert heat Sacrifice on oceans deep Pilgrim souls they can't defeat Breaking through the heat and fear Eyes awake to new frontiers And pain, brave birds of passage fly again, and as they light on golden strands, blessed birds of passage reach our land. Keep them bound Plaintive cries The only sound Hold to your humanity Rise as one in dignity And up above All wings of grace Swift birds of passage Gather peace As they rise As they Winged in flight And above On wings of grace Swift birds of passage Gather peace As they rise As they delight Bright birds of passage Winged in
Yeah, very good. Excellent. Mid yawn there, apologies. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent no, arrangement. Fantastic. Can I ask you, Megan, before Davies, I can't even have a question after question here, but I was just wondering early tuition, because I noticed, I've noticed the red tassel, of course, on the fiddle, which always means there's a grant involved somewhere, doesn't it? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I was very fortunate to get lessons uh, from uh, Angus Grant Sr. Uh, yeah. And, yeah, when I was growing up when I was younger, so yeah, yeah. that's the red tassel. Is that, so, did, is that where it started, the fiddle? Uh, what was the first thing you started with? Was it fiddle? Yeah, I did. Uh, I started, oh, I think I was about five years old when I started. Uh, I started playing it through what was called a teaching method called Suzuki. Um, that's where oh, I started yeah, yeah. that. It was it was the violin and then the piano, and then not long after that, it was the accordion. Right. Um, See that, David? Which... David? The accordion, David. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. It's oh, the poor accordion See? sitting gathering dust, but it was. I, I Oh, geez, I played it for a long, long time. Got, uh, I was taught by fantastic uh, Neil Sinclair. Oh, yeah, yeah, brilliant. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, so um, for many years, so yeah. yeah. Oh, there you go. So, uh, but so that was growing up uh, playing various different bits and pieces. Uh, yeah. Really, I mean, it's it's always. I mean, the Angus Grant thing. That's amazing how many people he's helped from that West Coast side. Uh, it's oh, just it's, amazing. He's it. incredible, and and you know he's still what's Angus? He's ninety one. And he is still uh, teaching, um, not not as many uh, kids, but he is. You know, he's really he started from absolute beginners as well, and that that's that's a really hard uh, yeah. task to take on. And he's incredible what what, what he's uh, given to to all this yeah. this area over here. Yeah. Mm. Fantastic. Do you do much yeah. teaching yourself? No, I don't. Um, just with touring and things, um, mm. I, I I would like to. Um, from time to time, I'll teach at uh, things at the Fish, um, um, or be festivals. But just with being away, and I can't can't always commit to it. However, yeah. when um, I moved back to Le Haber last year, and on a Tuesday, I teach at um, there's a an after schools a, a Le Haber music school. It's called. So I've uh, recently started uh, doing a bit of teaching there, but just on a Tuesday. Um, so, yeah. One day's enough. One day's enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah at the moment. At the moment. Was, yeah. uh, just to mention, of course, uh, but your husband, Ewan Robertson's in the band. And we've had yes. Ewan on as a guest before. Mm -hmm. And it is, I was just wanting to ask, Breabach, were you in Breabach first before you got together? Or was that during Breabach? Or? <laughs> yeah, that's a me? story for another time. But <laughs> all right, okay, all right, okay, yeah. right, that's fine. But, uh, okay. but you've been together yeah. right through the Brebach career, really, nearly, haven't you? Yeah, yep. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, we're, we're five years married uh, this coming week. Um, yeah, yeah. which is hard hard to believe that was some party but uh, no uh, I, I like to tell the story that, that you and well clearly you and asked me to be in the band <laughs> but maybe he had an ulterior motive you see uh -huh. <laughs> he's not here yeah, to maybe. defend himself so that's the story yeah let's go there let's just make what, it that what's what's the the phone's <laughs> got, his comments coming in <laughs> that's it that's official ladies and gentlemen that's a tartan tunes exclusive for you. Uh, <laughs> so that's it. You that is the story from now on. If we hear anyone saying anything different, we will put aside. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> but bringing us up to um, kind of present day last year, something you have released your own album, mm -hmm. and we're going to hear a track from that. And it's called um, Lost a Bit of Paper. Remind me again what it's called. So the track is called Flight of Fancy. Um, yeah. The the album itself, I'll give you a wee bit of background. Uh, the album is called Pilgrim Souls. And uh, I was, yeah, and uh, I was inspired to write uh, all this music. Um, I worked with a fantastic artist who's also from Le Havre, Christine Clark. Um, I took seven pieces of her artwork 
and I wrote my musical interpretation of her art, uh, which you can you can see it all on it's on my website. Did you instigate that then? Did you instigate that? Yeah. Did you say that's what I wanted to do? Yeah. Yeah. So it wasn't it wasn't a collaboration that was kind of mechanically made. It was kind of like you thought, right? I'd like to do that. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I I was a, a big a fan of her artwork anyway, and it's mm -hmm. just it's there's so much imagery in it, and I, yeah, I kind of had these ideas in my head, so went with it and wrote the music. It's all self penned, and uh, mainly for string instruments, and there's piano and harmonium and the fantastic Scandinavian hardanger player, Olav Luxengarv Melva, he's also on it. So, yeah. So this one is, the, this piece of artwork is called Flight of Fancy. What, what, now, one, one time when I was out in Norway, we came across this tiny little village in the middle of a tour, we were traveling between two places, and we came across uh -huh. this hardanger fiddle competition in this village. And ah, every, street, every street corner, they were, they were all having sessions, like, all these amazing. Them, it was amazing. It was just yeah. incredible. Yeah. There's something else. So mm -hmm. as you mentioned, Megan, this track over here is called Flight of Fancy. And we're going to put up the artwork in a second. Do you want to kind of tell us before you what you what you saw and what you brought out in the track so folk that are listening can kind of listen out for certain aspects of it? Here's the yeah, thing. so I suppose what I saw, um, was well what what drew me to, to this piece of art was that um i when i was going through this process i never asked christine what her inspiration was i just went with um you know just my, my own thoughts but for this one I actually i did ask her eventually and it was funny because she'd said that she used to dream a lot about whales but i do too and i used to dream about them being in loch Linny, out the front say, of the house where i grew up um so that that was kind of part of it but so what i saw in this piece of art was this whale and it's, it's quite dreamlike effect but that how how they're such amazing creatures and they go on these journeys mm -hmm. and it's you know it's not always plain sailing for them and yep towards the end they're really kind of giving it yeehaw in and out the water mm -hmm. so and then did, did you see <laughs> did you see whales when you grew up in no, uh, no, do you know what I think? No, 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 I, I seem to remember once there was one, um, it had obviously it got lost. It did not mean to be in Loch Linney. Right. Um, right. But it did end up there. I think it was just, uh, I forget what it was, but yeah, yeah there was definitely we'd a, a we'd sighting we'd of it. We had a but... beluga whale here not long ago. I think it was last year. Right. I a beluga, a white whale. And they're quite wow. rare to see. Uh, yeah, yeah, they're, yeah. Oh, they're incredible creatures. They're... Yeah, yeah, and, and that, uh, when I was talking to you about earlier, the, the, when we saw the humpbacks, they're, they're amazing. They're just like huge. Just, yeah, that's uh, it. It's, uh, and I didn't, I, I didn't feel frightened at all standing in the boat when they were playing round about you. It's amazing. You'd thought something that size would be petrifying, but it really wasn't at all. I'm sure. Oh, good. I, I didn't, I didn't have my pink shirt on either. It scared them. <laughs> might think, might think you're shrimp. <laughs> Big shrimp. <laughs> Big shrimp. So on this video we have, correct me if I'm wrong, Alistair Ian Patterson on piano mm -hmm. and Sue Lee on saw. Oh yeah. Sue Lee, yeah, on the saw and on the cello. So uh, cello. I wrote the music for her to the, the first bit of it to play it on the saw because it's such it's an incredible what, what, instrument when you hear it. It's, it's literally a saw. What clef, what clef do you write the saw on? Treble. Do you? <laughs> oh. Yep. Yep. All right. Okay. Yep. Is there a drop and, down uh, Sibelius for yep. saw? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> but it's a very okay, so handy going... instrument to take away on tour because it, it cuts a very, very uh, lovely thin slice of lemon for your gin and tonic. <laughs> yeah, but not, but not, not so handy going through customs, I would imagine. Something. No, that that's true. That's true. <laughs> Here we go, here's Flight of Fancy.
Oh, I love that. Fantastic. That fantastic. fantastic. I've, watched, I've watched lots of... I've watched lots of whales. And that actually captures so well. They move like <laughs> that. Do. They do move like yeah. that. <laughs> and so, uh, the other... And they do of... things. Unpredictable things like sorts. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So also in that video was Lauren McCall, Jack Smedley, mm -hmm. and Anna Massey. Is that correct? That's right. Yeah, yeah. That 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 um, video was taken from a uh, Kill Connections twenty. It was last year. So what's that? Twenty twenty two. Um. Yep. Yeah. That was a uh, uh, to an audience. It, it was like kind of post COVID after that winter, uh, and um, I think that was the first time. Uh, I think it was fifty folk. Uh, that were allowed into the Royal Concert Hall. So, um, wow. but luckily we got we got the footage of it as well. So, it was nice to. Yeah. That was the album launch actually. That Lauren was, that... was standing in. Luckily, uh, from that Lauren, she was standing in for Olav, uh, who couldn't get over from uh, Norway at the time, right. sadly. But we're that was, on, what, what night was that? Was that on a Saturday night? Or a Sunday oh, night? geez, I, I can't remember now. <laughs> We were supposed to be playing the night before. Chris Stout was organising a Shetland one, a Shetland. That's concert. right. We yeah, it was. We it was that weekend. Yeah, yeah, because we we got cancelled because of the twenty four right. hour thing. Because we weren't allowed to be there the day before, but then the concerts went the next day. We were restricted. That's right. Yeah, yeah. We missed out. Just times. Anyway. But it wasn't. A, it was so annoying because we thought for the sake of twenty four hours we could have sneaked in a back door or something. That's it. Then you'd end. You'd be as bad as the Conservative Party. <laughs> but that album is available, and it's available from the website below, meganhendersonmusic.com. Um, I'm yeah. sure you'd be more than more than happy to send lots of copies out to people. Um, give it, give us also... a, quick, a quick idea. That was one was on the wheel. What yes. other pieces have we got on that one? Um, so there's the opening track is one called the Dawn Chorus, and mm -hmm. uh, again, fantastic bit of artwork and um, lots of birds, uh, kind of taking flight and things like that. Mm -hmm. There's also Pilgrim Souls, um, which is a yeah, and I, I keep saying that it's a lovely piece of artwork, but they're all they're they're just gorgeous yeah, and just so yeah, talented. Yeah, um, yeah, so oh, yeah, that's, yeah, that, that's, that's the Dawn Chorus, that's the one. Mm -hmm. Davey's yeah. working like speedy light here tonight. <laughs> Trying to. Yeah, that's very um, crazy. Well, that's good. It must be, it's great, and it's lovely music you've produced in the back of it anyway. That's oh, fantastic. Thank you very much. Anyway, thank you. I shall go and buy the album myself, I don't have it. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's Pilgrim Souls right there, that one. Yep. Oh, that's a beauty, yeah, I like that. Mm -hmm. So yeah. if you pop on to Megan's website, you'll go take into the Bandcamp page. And if you click on each of the tracks, you'll see the artwork um, ah, that it's referring to, which is really good. Um, yeah. Again, I, I, again, kind of working to a different medium than the standard kind of write a tune, play a tune, listen to a tune sort of thing. But, so it's really good. Can I ask, are you an artist yourself? Um... I suppose I am. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, uh, I suppose musically I am uh, creatively, yeah. Yeah. Um, but I, 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 I love, I, I really like art. Uh, I used to enjoy yeah. it a lot when I was younger. I, I don't if I don't uh, partake in it much these days, but uh, yeah. yeah, I'm sure I, I, I once it's enjoy it gets a wee bit older. The people we've had on, the, the musicians that do like to paint and things like that as well. Yeah, There's quite a number of them definitely. Now. And, yep. and people that people that I wasn't expecting, like uh, Robert Matheson, the pipe major, uh, the shots and light head and all that, for years and years. Uh, and he was an artist and actually studied at art school when he was young and things. And yeah. It, it, yeah. And Midi Fielding. Midi Fielding's incredible with yeah. her work yes. as Marie, well. Marie's into yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. And Paul, Anderson, Paul Anderson's even tinkering now. Is that right? Paul there Anderson's you go. Paid as well. And I guess we're oh, trying to get fantastic. an honours, uh, Myra Green as well, fantastic artist. Oh, yeah, yeah. Myra's fantastic, yeah. Yeah, we'll have to catch a hold of Myra somewhere. We do, we do. <laughs> the last time I met Myra, we were playing the accordion going, uh, after head kilt walking down the road or something like that, four o'clock in the morning. And... <laughs> they do that in Glasgow as well, but it's usually in the afternoon. 
Yeah, and it's usually a different thing altogether. There's <laughs> usually a flute involved. Yeah, a flute. You know, <laughs> oh, jeez. Mm. <laughs> I know. Yeah. But no, it's fantastic. Um, it's, so a lot of the, the album, is that also a mix between your, the classical style of playing and the trad style of writing? Um, or have you kind of went whatever the, picture, the paintings have taken you? Yeah, pretty much just kind of, well, I, like, I, I suppose um, it's all it's written for kind of string ensemble, but it's definitely mm. rooted kind of uh, within the kind of folky realms, but it's also got a lot of the influence from the kind of classical music uh, side of things. Yeah. Mm. But, you know, it's getting me here, I'm wondering, where do you actually learn, I kind of get this in my mind now, where do you learn to play the saw? <laughs> <laughs> You'll, oh listen, you'll, you'll just you'll, you'll have to get Sue on and she'll yeah, we'll have to get Sue she'll on tell you all about because, it because because it is actually just a saw yep. it is a saw yep. isn't exactly it? it's not yeah and it, i noticed then I, when i was googling, googling there they call it a singing saw sometimes i was just about to say yeah in scandinavia a saw is whatever the word is for it it translates as the singing um singing bit of metal essentially so yeah it's incredible you don't be and careful you have to be careful playing something like that <laughs> and those that play are called sawists oh right we're getting right go. into that right we'll have to get on <laughs> yep definitely definitely <clears throat> what are you gonna say peter no i was there when you go no i, I was, was gonna get it and no, not this time. Um, yeah, it's the, the, with the two albums kind of coming out. What's next? Have you got anything lined up recording wise apart from obviously the tours with, with Brayback? Yeah, n no recording in the diary at the moment. Just kind of enjoying getting out and doing a bit of touring with my own trio now with Sue Lee and mm -hmm. Alistair Patterson. We've kind of been um, uh, taking the music out on the road a wee bit, which has been lovely getting the opportunity to oh, do yeah. that. So just starting to kind of looking into a few more dates for later in the year and then also for next year as well so i um, going to carry on working on that project and but I yeah I later in the year I'm going to start writing some new music uh, for those guys again and uh, also busy with Brebach and uh, away with Kim Carney fantastic singer uh, this summer and mm -hmm. Duncan Chisholm as well so yeah there's plenty to keep me out of mischief for now and have you have you a, have you a subject in mind that you're thinking to write on the next time or i'm not sure at the moment but uh, no. pl playing with sue ali and ali is so inspiring they're incredible the two of them right. so uh, right. every time we're playing together i'm getting more and more ideas so another yeah, idea come we'll on. See what I come fantastic. Up with. sounds yeah. incredibly mm -hmm. creative fantastic. oh i don't know about that <laughs> So we're going to play one last track from, from yourself, Brayback, and that's Fass, and that's also from the latest album. Do you want to tell us a bit about this track? Yeah, so this track um, really grew arms and legs <laughs> in the creative process with this one. Uh, Callum had an idea of uh, uh, kind of taking on the rhythm of a walking song. Uh, so I found uh, this old walking song that comes from the Isle of Eriski and uh, we kind of took segments of it it was you know such a rhythmical uh, kind of thing but then he also wrote uh, a tune in amongst that and then it finishes with a, a new piece of music uh, by connell um which i've forgotten the name of just now but uh, yeah it's a lovely lovely piece of music so um yeah this is fast and uh, the word fast as well in gaelic for anyone that's wondering uh, it means to grow or regrowth so the song, okay. uh, the, the whole album is kind of based on uh, regeneration and, um, yeah, kind of Brilliant. a lot of that. Megan, now. Yeah. thank you so, so much for coming on with us tonight. It's been an absolute pleasure mm -hmm. having you on. Uh, please My say pleasure. Hello to Joy. A, a whole big hello to Joy and Ewan. And remember my offer of becoming a, a, a nanny. <laughs> I will, yeah, I will do. <laughs> uh, 
uh, I'm sure she'd enjoy I'm that. Not, I, I would just love to say, I meant to say at the beginning as well, uh, uh, a hello to, to Katie, uh, the Piper. Um, oh, yeah. Is, is, she, is she joined your pipe band now, Davy? Is that she has? Yeah, 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 yeah she joined us. Uh -huh. I, I met I met Katie earlier this uh, year. I've been doing a project with the National Youth Pipe Band and uh, mm -hmm. the 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 group that she was with, the younger ones. What an incredible bunch! So uh, amazing to see, very inspiring. So and what a player, mm -hmm. unbelievable. So yeah, we'll we'll play this one for for yes. you, my dear. <laughs> She's great. Well, listen, Megan, thank you very yeah. much. Take care, look after the family, say hello to them all, and we'll hopefully see you. Will do. Thanks for having I, us. We'll, we'll hopefully see you live somewhere pretty soon. <laughs> oh, that'd be great. That'd be great. Thanks, Fantastic, Megan. Megan. All the best. Cheers, all cheers. Best. Bye, 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 bye.
That's what they call an opening shot case. <laughs> Get it? Yeah. So, Vi Todd asked me what my t-shirt says. What does it say? So I'm, not, I'm not insensitive. I just don't care. <laughs> well, fair enough. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so that, that, that one's for you, Vi. <laughs> That's a brilliant show. If you enjoyed that, it was really nice having Megan on. Uh, total professionals, total professionals. And the band oh, sounds fantastic, fantastic. And I'm really looking forward to hearing their own album as well. So, folks, if you fancy mm -hmm. Megan's album or any of the Brave Back albums, you'll find everything, the whole lot online. And that'd be great. Any competitions next week, maybe? Is this a wee one up in Aberdeen on Saturday? Um, oh, is that right? What's that? The granite, the, no, the, 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 the granite cup competition or something? No, the, the European, the European, the Ro European Championships. We're not in Europe anymore. How can we have a Europe? We're still in Europe. We're not in the <laughs> EU. You can't, even, you can't just not be in a continent. <laughs> oh, right, okay. Well, I don't know. Boris would have had this out. Anyway. Well, that, uh, yeah, brilliant. So you've got the European Championships in Aberdeen next week. That's great. Just a nip up the road for you, no too far. Yeah, about an hour, hour and a bit. Yep. Yeah, so it's quite good, quite handy up the road. So all the best with the band for that. And Thank you much. You're doing fantastic. You. I'm sure you will uh, give it loudy. Give it loudy. Yeah, there's a, there's a fair number of bands. There's 15 bands in our grid. So. Well, that's good. That's good, though. It's healthy. Oh. Yeah. Healthy. Yeah, it's it's a good feeling when you beat them all. Yeah, we quite we quite happy with top six. Good man, good, excellent. Yeah, it's nice to get in the price list, isn't it? Right, but anyway, thank you very much, so, folks. For so before be before we go, oh, yeah. um, in in the event that we do get top six next Saturday, I probably won't be on the show Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> You think, right? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, he might be, but he'll be propped up in a corner somewhere. <laughs> right, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. thanks very much uh, for joining yeah. us tonight. Next week, we've got our guest is a young lady called Jill Halliday. Jill's a singer, uh, folk singer. I uh, started doing solo work. She's been in various groups all, and she's doing quite a bit of touring this uh, summer. Cool. She's turning up all sorts of places, so it's uh, going to be really nice to have uh, Jill. And she's originally from Speyside. I've known her for a, a long, long, long time, so it's uh, going to be good to catch up with her again and take it with her. So anyway, take care, ladies and gentlemen. I'm away. It's fantastic. There's no midges, uh, and that's great. And I can still hear the party going down at the pier. I can still hear them partying away. There's there's a disco going apparently till the last person falls. You should go turn up. <laughs> and get it you keep it going till tomorrow. Just, just keep starting. Come on, boys. Come on. Because I don't drink, so that would be quite funny standing there drinking coke. Come on, boys, get it down you. <laughs> <laughs> right. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. Click the right, right button. Make a <laughs>